Hey everybody, it's Mike from Drive80.com, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily make a whiteboard animation with just an image of your hand and um, just using masks and things like that in After Effects. First of all, all I did was take a picture of my hand with my iPhone. This is my desk at my office. You can see there's a, there's a glass right there, and I just grabbed a marker. Now, I did these different positions with my hand where I um, I had it, I, I kind of took like one picture was here and I moved the marker and I took another picture. But then I realized I could use the puppet tool. I cropped out my hand in Photoshop and then I brought it into After Effects. So all you gotta do is bring in your Photoshop layer, make sure that you have your image. So here it's just my hand. You can see that it's transparent. So if I just drew a box behind it, let's say, uh, give it a fill. You can see that my hand is a, it's transparent. So all I do is just, you just I just masked it out. And in Photoshop, just get your hand, take a picture of it, bring it to Photoshop, mask it out, and then bring it into After Effects. And now the next step would be, is we're gonna make the video. So I'm gonna take my hand here, I'm gonna create a new comp by Command N, and I'm just gonna call it, I don't know, hand animation. And I'll make it 1080 by 1080, 30 frames per second, great. There it is. I'm gonna take my hand, which is right here in my layers, I'm gonna drag it onto here. And uh, I'm just going to scale it down just a tiny bit. So the main, the first part of this is going to show you just how you can use the puppet tool to make that effect. And then, then I can go into the whole masking part of the animation. But first, all I did was I grabbed the puppet tool from up here. And I was like, okay, let me just figure out where I can put this. So I just put like a dot here, here, and here. And I said, if I move it, I want to be able to control the wrist. Is it going to move? So I added another one. I think it was like here. So I want to be able to just isolate that movement right here. And once I did that, I found out where that pin is. So I grabbed the mesh, I clicked on the pin, and I found out it was this one right here, and this is the one I'm gonna play with. So I'm gonna just zoom in, I'm just gonna go out a little bit, and I'm gonna take that pin, and I'm gonna move it over a little bit. I'm gonna go over here, I'm just gonna move it back over just a different direction, move it over to here, and then move it back up just different directions to kind of give that idea that it's moving and then go back to here go back a little bit and i'm gonna go back to the beginning and see where it was okay so i'm going to copy this keyframe i'm going to go out a little bit i'm going to paste it right here i'm going to cap it off with n my workspace and just hit control okay that's just way too slow so i'm going to take all of these keyframes hold down option click the last one and drag it left so it'll kind of speed it up a bit and let's see it's going to be a little slow. Okay. So it, it kind of looks like it's it's going to loop, right? And now what, I'm, now what I did is I was kind of, okay, let me, yeah, I focused on that one right there. So I said, okay, that one's there. And let me just show, let me just pretend as if my hand was actually moving. This is a real rough way of doing it. If you took more time, you can really smooth it out. But I said, okay, here to here. And then... It's like, let me move this one down. So again, I'm playing with the, the, this keyframe right here. I'm gonna match that up, go to the next one, make sure that this is on the actual keyframe and say, I'm using J to go backwards and K to go forwards. So it's like here, I'm just gonna move this one down a bit. I'm gonna go next, bring this keyframe here. Let me see that. I'm gonna move this one up and we're gonna hit K again. And I'm gonna just go back to the very beginning. I'm gonna copy this and paste it there. So if I cap it off with N and see the loop. Okay, so that's that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add an expression. So I'm gonna option click on this clock right here because I'm on a Mac and do loop, capital O out, parentheses, quotation mark, uh, cycle, in quote, parentheses. I'm gonna command A to hit all and then copy this and I'm going to hit, I have to hit FN and return to get out of that. And then I'm gonna do the same for the one on top of it. So hit option and click, hit paste. And now if I zoom out, I can kind of bring in my workspace open a little bit like that. Now let's see. So it's still like kind of, it, it's still liquidy, but I think that if I just brought this in a bit closer. So again, if I just drag these a bit closer, yeah. So it kind of gives that idea, it gives that look of like, I'm actually drawing. If I had more time, it would be a lot smoother. But then the end result would be what I showed you in the beginning, which was just, so you could see how it's warped, right? But in the beginning, you might not have noticed that it was just an image. It was a single image of my hand where I was doing this. So I took that and I just took the hand and I copied it and I brought it into a new comp. 
where I had that image behind it of the guy. Let me copy him. I'll bring him into this one. Okay. If I have the image of just the guy, you can see there he is. Uh, I'm going to have it selected. I'm going to hit Q to get the square, the path, the rectangle tool. And I'm going to draw it over the guy. And I'm also going to turn off this layer right here. So I've got the guy and I got this mask on him. And if I take that mask and I just go up to mask path, I'm going to put the keyframe here and I'm going to take, I'm going to hit command to get this arrow. And if I, if I do that and hit the, uh, the corner, the anchor, if I bring it off, you see that the arrow turns white with a little box. I'm going to drag it over these corners and I'm going to bring them up. I'm still holding command. So that's going to give the idea that I'm drawing right here. So I'm going to turn on the hand and I'm just going to move this up like here. And let's see. So now I'm going to just control the hand. I'm going to just do Command P or Option P. I'm sorry. And I'm going to just move it a little bit to the to the right. P. Okay, it did do that. Now I'm going to go out a little bit. Go down. Go out a little bit. Kind of go over a little bit, and then go over here. And let's just see how that looks. So it looks like I'm drawing him, right? So as I'm doing this, I want the mask to to start moving as well. So right here, I start, and then, so the mask is fine there, even though it looks like the, this is down here. So I would probably just take the mask and I would move it down just a little bit. And I would probably do, is if I hit G to get the pen, I'm gonna add another anchor point so I can control it a little bit. Again, this is like gonna be kind of sloppy. So I'd be like, all right, here's this. Let me d delete this, bring this one over here. So I start off, all right, there it is. And as I go here, I'm going to put another keyframe. I'm just going to drag this keyframe here. And I go to the next one. And I'm going to take this and kind of just reveal a little bit more. So when I move it over, it's going to look like I drew that. So I'm probably going to, yeah, again, this is super rough. So um, you're going to have to kind of bear with me here. So it's like drawn here. It's going to go here. And then I'm going to copy this and paste it here. And then if I have the hand, if I take the hand and bring it down to here, I can have the mask follow that. So if I have that, I can just bring it down. Looks like it's going to follow the hand down. So it's like I'm still drawing this. And then I'll probably take the hand and move it off the screen. And as it's doing that, I'm going to take the mask that I have. I'm going to grab the edges and I'm going to bring them down. Here we go. So let's see if I cap this off. So it looks like I'm drawing. And that just that's just like an easy way instead of filming your hand drawing or having to spend a lot of time of taking different pictures of your hand moving. Look how fast I just created that one animation. It was just using a mask on the image and then puppet tool for the hand and then just using its position. And there you go. Looks like I'm drawing it. And that's it. If you have any questions, you can just email me at micahdrive80.com and please ask anything you want. You can also comment below in this YouTube video and ask questions. And if you want to have someone do this for you, you can go to drive80.com and check out my work. And feel free to subscribe and share this with friends and sing me praise.